Did you know that in the early 20th century, the Osage Nation was considered the wealthiest group of people per capita in the world? But what led to this sudden prosperity? Picture the rolling plains of Oklahoma at the dawn of the 20th century. Beneath the feet of the Osage Nation, a sleeping giant of wealth lay undisturbed. Oil. The discovery of this black gold on Osage land sparked an unprecedented economic boom for the tribe. A unique system was established known as the Osage Headright System. This meant that each member of the tribe held a share in the mineral trust, a stake in the oil riches that flowed from their ancestral lands. The oil wells gushed, the dollars flowed, and the Osage found themselves in the midst of an extraordinary period of prosperity. Yet, as the saying goes, money is the root of all evil. But with immense wealth came immense danger. From 1921 to 1925, the Osage community was haunted by a series of unexplained and violent deaths. What was happening? The tranquility of the Osage nation was shattered as one by one, its members started falling prey to a seemingly invisible predator. The circumstances were always mysterious, the deaths always violent. Take Anna Brown, for instance. She was found in a ravine, lifeless, with a bullet lodged in her skull. Charles Whitehorn, another Osage, was discovered on a rocky outcrop, also shot dead. These weren't isolated incidents. Rather, they were part of a terrifying pattern that was sweeping the community. Fear and confusion swirled like a storm, casting a dark shadow over the Osage nation. Each death was a chilling reminder of the unseen threat. Each unanswered question added another layer to the growing panic. As the death toll rose, the Osage were left grappling with the horrifying reality. The need for intervention became clear. The community was under siege, and something or someone had to stop the bloodshed. In stepped the Federal Bureau of Investigation. But why was this case significant for them? Well, the Osage murders marked one of the first major investigations for the FBI, which had been formed only a few years prior. This was a crucial case that would serve as a testing ground for the young agency's capabilities and set a precedent for its future operations. At the helm was a young J. Edgar Hoover, who was eager to prove the worth of his fledgling bureau. To lead the investigation, Hoover appointed a former Texas Ranger, Tom White, known for his meticulous methods and unflappable character. White assembled a team of undercover agents, and together they embarked upon a complex and dangerous investigation in a time when law enforcement was still learning how to navigate the murky waters of organized crime and widespread corruption. However, the investigation was far from straightforward, setting the stage for a dramatic and revealing journey into racial prejudice and corruption. A racial prejudice and corruption, these were the formidable obstacles the investigation faced. But how did they manifest? Racial prejudice was ingrained in the fabric of society, hindering the investigation at every turn. The Osage people's wealth, rather than being celebrated, became a target for those blinded by greed and bigotry. The headright system, designed to benefit the Osage, was manipulated. Outsiders married into the tribe, not for love, but for the allure of oil wealth. They then orchestrated the murders of their Osage family members to inherit the headrights. The corruption ran deep, reaching into the ranks of local law enforcement. Some officials were complicit in the crimes, their hands stained with the same oil that had brought prosperity to the Osage. The murders were a chilling testament to the length some would go to seize wealth and power. Yet despite the darkness, the Osage fought for justice. Yet the truth could not be buried forever. The Osage murders left an indelible mark on American history. But what legacy did they leave behind? The echoes of this tragedy still reverberate today. For the Osage community and Native American population at large, the murders underscored a painful truth. Their wealth and prosperity were not shields against the insidiousness of racial prejudice and greed. The case was a stark reminder of the systemic issues that had long victimized Native Americans, engendering a renewed call for justice and equality. The atrocities faced by the Osage sparked a greater awareness and consideration of Native American rights in the United States. On the other side of the coin, the Osage murders played a pivotal role in shaping the FBI. This case, one of their first major investigations, led to significant advancements in forensic science and law enforcement techniques. 
The agency learned hard lessons about corruption within its ranks and the importance of thorough, unbiased investigation. The Osage murders, a chilling tale of greed and prejudice, remind us of the length some will go for wealth and the strength of those who seek justice.